Hello there, Rule the Waves fans of YouTube. This is Noname 17 Spore, and today we are continuing our playthrough as Austria Hungary with a starting date of 1900. As a reminder, this series was originally live streamed on Twitch. Links to it and my personal Discord are in the video description below. This was only streamed in 720p, so that is what the video quality is going to be. And this series took place across the original three versions of the game, all of which are currently outdated. With all that out of the way, let's get on to today's episode. I would not be surprised if we go to war this turn, unfortunately. Um, We are at 128 prestige right now, though. Let this be the hour we move Risotto together. Naval deeds awake. Now for war, now for ruin, and for the Arthesmia. Fourth <laughs> Kaiserreich Marine. Arthesmia was sunk by Britain, though. Not Italy. Um, okay, so max speed of all these is higher. That's good. Range? That one has the best range. Um, yeah, go with that one. Our new fighter. Cruiser battle over at Corfu. Uh, I don't think we can do that. Mmm. We can probably manage that. I hope this is a good idea. So Budapest and Urzazog Friedrich here. But we're going to need a lot of airplanes now. And I'm probably... Alright, enemy ship spotted. Start moving towards it, whatever it is. Yep, those are radar contacts we're picking up. So we got... Our two new Radetzky class battleships here. Do we have any, uh... We do have a carrier division. Cool. Get them... So that's Lisa. Ready to strike. And then our other carrier division is... Ah, uh, crap. Our other carrier division is one of those which doesn't actually have airplanes on it right now. So we sent that out for some reason. Alright, so we've started firing at whoever these guys are. Now it's daytime, so now these guys are going to be revealed as actual ships. Okay, two hits. Good. We took a belt hit. We took another hull hit. We scored another hit. Good. So I assume that I'm going to have to just cancel a lot of the construction I have right now. A lot of what I'm working on. So we took a conning tower hit. It looks like we're okay. Unidentified ship hit. That's good. Budapest has lost sight of the target. Um, unidentified ship hit. Good. Oh crap, they're going for a merchant. A coastal merchant there. Can we continue to hit him? Yeah, okay, now we're opening fire. Nice. Nice job on that. So that's destroyers out there. They've got dive bombers attacking uh, Spilato. Yeah, but turn away, because they've got destroyers going in on us right now. Turn this way just because I think they're going to launch this way. That's a... S Wait, that's a heavy... Wait, we're up against heavy cruisers? What? That's a heavy cruiser division. That's not... I thought we were going up against enemy battle cruiser or something. Yeah, start shooting it now. So, something over there is retreating. So that's why they weren't penetrating our armor. Unfortunately, they now have a destroyer charging us, so that's not a good... Alright. Just keep kind of maneuvering here. That Zara class has been bombarded until it has stopped moving. Oh yeah, CV strike. Yeah, we should do that with our one ready CV. Uh, coordinated strike. Get rid of one of the fighters then, if that's a little too much. And that target should be probably there. Time over target. So it's going to take 20 minutes to get there. In 20 turns, I think it'll kind of be probably there-ish. Have it changed. 
we need to turn this way. Since they are probably going to try a destroyer attack of some sort. All enemy aircraft are approaching a destroyer division, unfortunately. Oh, Budapest is avoiding torpedoes. So they did drop torpedoes at our craft, but it looks like we did manage to avoid them. They probably have a carrier out here. There's our strike going out. There we go. It found them. Good. Alright, unfortunately we have aircraft approaching one of our divisions. That... These guys over here. CA bomb hit. Good. Good to note. Um, three bomb hits on whatever that cruiser is. So where's our merchant group? There it is. CA bomb hit. Good. Enemy ship DD is hit by a couple torpedoes. Go down to cruise speed now. Alright, so yeah, we're going to have to just massively build everything up now. BC bomb hit. Enemy ship CA is hit by a couple torpedoes. Nice. Still, this is painful, not having Albania. Oh, God. Okay, so they're bombing a patrol. Oh, wait. So they're bombing here. Yeah, can we increase uh, cap to maximum, please? Yeah, heavy cap, actually. Heavy cap. Nope. Okay, so it looks like they missed. Crap, they're hitting our merchants. God damn it! Three torpedo hits right there. What's our max speed now? 25 knots. Um, what's our what is our carrier looking like? Just get get your planes ready again. Ready them. All right, we're going to try to just slip into port here. See a bomb hit. Land target bomb hit. Oh, we've got something over here. What are these guys? Can we get a positive ID on any of them? Is that the enemy destroyer formation? So what I'm going to try to do is I'm just going to try to slip my aircraft back here. Well, I want to see if we can get an ID on these guys. But no, we're going to... We're going to turn back this way. I think those are the enemy destroyers. Yeah, is our carrier division ready for another strike? Yes, it is. Okay, get rid of a fighter. Hello, Doomsday. Um, do we see any reports of an enemy carrier here? Because I think they have one somewhere. If we don't, we're just going to send them after the destroyers. Which already do seem to be getting hit, but... That, those guys are hitting something over here. 
That being said, if they were over here, then their carrier would probably be somewhere here-ish. So I say just launch. Launch that way. Oh, we had a report of a CV somewhere. Wait, Lisa, are you still launching? You've already launched, unfortunately. Uh, actually, wait, no. Hold on, hold up, hold up, Lisa. Your strike's gonna be... Oh, God. Hold on, I will... It's not even my phone. We're fighting Italy right now. Alright, so we're gonna try to launch those guys against the uh, possible enemy carrier division. And we're gonna try to get our battleships back. Our base Spilato's taking hits. Whoever these guys are, they're chasing us. Now they're kind of not. So I kind of want to... Okay, come on. Yeah, that is AMC? Wait, what are these? Airbase Tunis damage. That's a... We're identifying that as an our merchant cruiser? Oh, crap. Can they stop it with this? Oh, merchants getting hit over here. Enemy ship unsighted is hit by a torpedo. Nice. That could be one of the Italian CVs. So whatever these guys are, we're now shooting at them. Okay, cool. We have more planes approaching enemy ships. Enemy ship unsighted. Yeah, so that is their CV, and we have hit something with a... Torpedo. That might be a CV we've hit. Uh, two BC bomb hits, one CA bomb hit, two CA bomb hits. So they've got like BCs or CAs down there too, it looks like. Of some description. Enemy ship unsighted is hit by a torpedo. I think... What are these guys? Land target bomb hit, land target bomb hit. CL bomb hits. Good land target bomb hits. So this is uh, 1943. So I'm hoping that we get through this war in a reasonable amount of time. Okay. A lot of stuff happening there. Still trying to hit whatever these guys are. I think that is the five destroyers, though. Yeah, it's a. Yeah, we only have one. Yeah, ready that. Oh, okay, we only get one of them then. For the moment. No. No. Yeah, turn around. Turn around back this way. No! No. Unidentified ship hit. Good. Nice shooting. Do we have... Did they recover planes? Yes, they did. Alright, so where is the most recent CA report? What time is it right now? It is uh, 11.23, so then... 10.36, 10.48, 10.49... That's zero zero two C A or two C Vs. It's one there, one there. We're reporting. Reporting one there. Heading that way. So then, yeah. Launch that strike. See if we can damage them more. Sight's an unknown ship. I th still think these are destroyers. Unidentified ship hit. So now whether... Okay. I just accidentally ordered something to enter port. And I think all my carriers will now, too. Now, is the strike launched, or no?
Okay, go down to cruise speed. No. Yes. Whatever these ships are, we just need to keep them turned around here. Just keep them... Prevent them from accessing our convoy. We're only detecting them via radar right now, but we have a full island between us and them. Oh, that's interesting. So that is a separate group of ships to whatever these guys are. We've identified that as a CV. Can we order fire at it? Oh god. They were thinking about engaging us at night. Alright. Yeah, we have driven them away, I think. I'm just gonna turn back around and uh, hold by the merchant division. Yeah. So we lost... Two minesweepers, six merchants. They won. We sank three heavy cruisers and heavily damaged one and did uh, medium damage to an enemy CV. So yeah, we sank Zara, Trento, and Pola. Our battleship took three torpedo hits, but like a champ. Uh, Goriza survived. Their CV Martin took a torpedo hit, and their other CV was uh, which one? I had two CVs. Where's the other Italian CV? Am I blind? Yeah, I'm blind. Il Rondon. That one survived. That was probably the one we saw at the end there. But apparently we get two prestige for it. So yeah, hi. Yeah. Okay, anything which is currently working up, we don't want in the active fleet. So now we are losing a bit of money. Um... Other than that, um, let's see, we can probably, let's see, we could probably scrap, okay, yeah, we're gonna need more planes, that's part of the problem. I wanna get the Mamudis done, because Italy does have a lot of submarine, naval aircraft, 999, we only have 732, okay. We need to get money from somewhere. We have a lot of ship building right now. I think we scrap the two Pylades, which just aren't gonna... which are too far behind. That helps me get some money back. Alright, I'm gonna work with this money for the moment. Those submarines are gonna be done this turn, though, thankfully. Um, air group-wise. Alright, so there we go. auto -add aircraft. And then auto -add aircraft there. To e just each of those bases. Um, honestly, Catero. Just auto -add aircraft. Um, can we add another air unit? Like a, you know, another dive bomber squadron. I mean, a medium bomber squadron of, say, ten would probably be good. And then, no, we'll add a fighter squadron of 18 to Catero. Now, I am going to have to start uh, putting planes on my uh, carriers. So, let's see. This is four fighters, four groups of fighters, two torpedo bombers, six dive bombers. So, add air unit. Fighter. 8, 1, at air unit, fighter, 8, 2, fighter, 8, 3, fighter, 8, that's 4, and then we want to add 2 torpedo bombers, 
and then six dive bomber squadrons. Just to get our uh, extra carriers here operational. There we go. That it, that will be all of our dive bomber squadrons on uh, Mahrin. We just we didn't get ready for this war. Is the main issue I'm having here. Doctrine wise, we need gunnery up. Um, it's actually gonna take a year. That's fine. We have time. Gunnery and uh, probably night fighting. So that's gonna massively increase the amount of money we are spending. These guys are going to be the furthest behind, so I'm going to scrap two of them, and I'm going to we'll resume construction on that one. We can sustain some losses for a little bit, although I'll probably get my air groups worked out a little bit, and then decide what to do. Alright, so, okay, so these guys, 120 aircraft, that is 40 times 3, and 40 is 4 times 5, so that's 15 squadrons. Uh, normally you divide them up 555. Five, five. Um, now that being said, I think I'm going to take the torpedo bomber squadron and add one to the fighters and add one to the dive bombers. So, uh, you're going to have one... Actually, no, you're only going to have five fighters. Three, four, and uh, five. So that's five fighters, and then we want uh, torpedo bombers, eight, torpedo bombers, eight, three groups of torpedo bombers on these guys, and then everything else is just going to be dive bombers. Yeah, our naval aviation is just going way up right now. I might wind up toning down my, or turning down my research again. We're in the very late game, and at this point, research doesn't matter quite as much as it used to. Alright, so then, fighter-wise, I want uh, five of them. There needs to be a more automatic way to do this, I'm going to be honest. Like, loadouts or, or preset uh, preset loadouts or something. One, two, and add another air unit. Three, and then just dive bombers from here on out, and then we'll need to uh, rearm our lighter carriers. We are definitely also going to need more fighters along the uh, Austrian coast. Because they were getting stuff through there, and they shouldn't have been getting stuff through. Alright, so there we go. We got all those guys. Or, we got those guys. Let's get, uh... Prague? How much, how much did I put on Prague? So that's 80, so that's 10 units. So, I think that's like 3 fighters two torpedo bombers and the rest dive bombers. One, two. So that's one dive bomber, two dive bombers, three dive bombers, and then four dive bombers, and five dive bombers. Okay, cool. Or maybe I should, I'll go five dive bombers. Alright, so that's five dive bombers. Three fighters, two torpedo bombers. Eh. Mm, I'll go five. I'll stick with five. One fighter. Two fighters. Three fighters. One torpedo bomber. Two torpedo bombers. Three torpedo bombers. No, not three. Disband that last one. One dive bomber. Two dive bombers. Three dive bombers. 
four dive bombers and five dive bombers. Go to Brecon, do the same. Fighter, one, two, and then a uh, third. Another torpedo bomber, Ugh, not full plane scout, torpedo bomber, eight, one, two, and then just the five dive bombers. Because the dive bombers seem to be what's doing the damage for us. If I had had another carrier in that last engagement, I might have been able to put that one enemy carrier down. Um, if, but one of my carriers didn't have aircraft, so that didn't help. If it was Lisa and Mahrin, or not Lisa Mahrin, Lisa and Sankt Polten, I think that would have gone a little better. Alright, so these guys... There's going to be four fighter squadrons, I think. One, two, three, four, two torpedoes, one, and then two, and then dive bomber-wise, one, two, three, four, and a five. And then you, fighter squadron, eight, one, two, three, and four. And now, now we are losing a lot of money, so a lot of the stuff we have currently building is going to have to be scrapped. I'll probably try to get the Mahmoudis done. Um, I think one of the later Polas is probably going to be scrapped. I still want to get some of the Pilates done. But the goal is just going to get, or the goal is going to be to get this to hold out long enough for that monthly balance to correct itself. Alright, so we need, uh, what was I on? Yeah, torpedo bombers. Two of them. One. Second torpedo bomber squadron. Two. And then dive bombers. One. Two. Three. Four and five. There we go. Carriers are if you turn research off. Your money will hold out. We'll we'll have research on two percent, I think. So that helps. That definitely helps having that research down a bit lower. So now that we have all that done, we do still need more aircraft. Uh if we look at our map, um, where do we need the aircraft the most right now? So unfortunately, Durazzo and Valona, we can't launch stuff from anymore. Do we have any air groups in reserve? No, we don't. We just lost the air groups there. Great. Uh, how are Bizerte and Tunis doing? Tunis. Medium bomber. And then, yeah, you're going to get a large group of dive bombers as well. And then you're going to probably get flying boats of 10, 10 flying boats in Tunis. And then add a unit. We're going to add a torpedo bomber squadron of just 10 down there. And my hope is that those medium bombers can uh, hit an airbase. And then Bizerte actually does have some medium bombers. Bizerte is actually pretty well good. So Tunis and Bizerte. Uh, how's Cagliari doing? Cagliari doesn't need quite as much. We're going to add a... Uh, group of 12, we're going to add two groups of 12 dive bombers to uh, Cagliari here, just to kind of help out. Maybe some 40 strength medium bombers, yeah. That will be at more important ports, so uh, I'll prob we're probably going to have a large number, we're going to add a squadron of medium bombers here at Pola. And we're going to add another squadron of medium bombers here at Fium. One, add a second medium bomber unit. and no, Not auto-add aircraft. We want a fighter squadron as well at Fium. Alright. So Fium's there, Pola's there. That would be more to Venezia. Um, so, Pola. Uh, add a uh, fighter air unit of, let's say, a second one of 12 
at Pola. And then, I think we do need a dive bomber unit there. Another one. Probably two. Just to put anything down. So, Olbia is over there. Um, we're just going to add another squadron of maybe ten medium bombers there. Uh, Zara doesn't have anything. Zara does need some planes, so... Actually, we're going to auto add aircraft to Zara. Although, I'm probably just going to disband one of those uh, medium bomber divisions, and yeah, I'll disband one of the fighter divisions as well. I don't want Zara having too many aircraft. Uh, Rhodes. Rhodes could probably use a uh, fighter, maybe eight of them. Dive bombers, eight. Another set of eight dive bombers, maybe. A, uh, we'll do a set of flying boats there, too. And then Lindos has flying boats. And, yeah, you also are going to need a fighter squadron of eight. And probably a dive bomber squadron of eight. And probably also a torpedo bomber squadron of eight. Tripoli. Tripoli is down here. Um, actually, Valletta? Where's Valletta? That is kind of down here. Valletta needs more medium bombers. Valletta should probably get an extra group of fighters as well. Even though it already has a bunch. And then just to make sure that nothing can slip through. Valletta should get a full squadron of dive bombers. So, Trobook. We're going to add a squadron of fighters. Change number to 8. We're going to add a squadron of flying boats at 8. We're going to add a squadron of dive bombers at 8. And then a squadron of torpedo bombers at 8. And we're going to do the same thing with Tripoli. Although Tripoli is also going to get a 8 set of medium bombers. 8. And then dive bombers at 8. Flying boats at 8. And then probably uh, torpedo bombers at 8, maybe. Yeah. So, Ro yeah, Rhodes doesn't have much. Uh, Fium has the medium bombers and the fighters. I don't think I want to add more to Fium. How's Spilato doing? Spilato. Spilato could use... We're just going to stick that and there. We're going to stick that there, and we're going to stick a group of fighters at Spilato. Uh, where's Cagliari? Okay. Cagliari is, yeah, there. St. Florent and Bonifacto, they already have stuff. Uh, the Mosul, we are going to need a group of fighters there. We're probably going to want a group of dive bombers and uh, torpedo bombers as well, just to kind of hold that position. So Airbase and Lindos and Tripoli e are down there. Lindos is over there. Tripoli e is down there. Yeah, I think other than that, we're good. So we can hold out for three turns with our submarine construction. That's going to give us... I need my calculator. Oh, don't, don't pop up there. I will... Casual 2,200 planes, yes. Okay, so let's see. So that's 200 times 4 plus 250 times 4. So that much... Yeah, ships under construction. We are going to probably scrap these guys here. Just to save a bit more money. Fielding more planes than the entirety of Europe today. I mean, it is World War II. Planes are a bit cheaper back then. Um, so that'll go down to about 9,000. We can sustain that right now for three turns. Um, we need to sustain it for a little more than three turns. I'm going to scrap the third. That guy. Now I think that's sustainable. And our next goal should be all of you guys on trade protection. And then all these guys on trade protection. What's my fastest fighter? This guy right here. It's 468. Um, these guys are probably both obsolete. 
Torpedo bomber wise we have these two. This one really should be considered obsolete. Although it's Yeah, it's Cruise speed's a little lower, it's range is lower. Yeah. That one's obsolete. Crest pearls are for a new aircraft. Uh torpedo bomber. We need speed. And means you fit yeah, we have jet planes. We're gonna probably get a torpedo bomber as a jet plane here. We're gonna s do we want double speed? Do we want range? No props turbo, otherwise can reach out. Yeah, we have jets. Speed and range on the torpedo bombers just to get them out further? Or do we want to go like reliability to keep them going? I think I think range. So new float plane scouts under development. Other than that, everything is uh up to date, I believe. We have 132 prestige. Let's save. Thank you all for watching. As a reminder, the like and subscribe buttons exist. Do with them as you please. If you want to watch my live streams from which this video originates, you can go to my Twitch page. And if you want to keep up with the live streams and interact with my nearly non-existent community, you can join my Discord. Links to both are in the description below. Goodbye, everyone.